Hey everybody, it's George again from BW Limited Charity Fundraising, your charity fundraising one-stop shop. Um, check out our website at www.bwlimited.com. Like us on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, all that stuff. Well, today two things, straight off the bat. I've got a terrible cold. I'm getting over it. I'm past all the body aches, but I'm good, but I'm going to sound real nasally. Sorry. The other thing is I'm actually in Reno, Nevada. I'm going to show you the, uh, the, the uh, skyline. There it is right there. There's Reno. So, today what we're going to talk about is, we're going to talk about a question I get asked all the time. All the time. George, oh my God, how do I sell out my event? I got to market. I got to market. How do I, how do I market it? Where, where, where do I need to advertise? And um, how can I sell tickets? Well, to be quite honest with you, it's really, really, really easy. In fact, when I say it, normally, I have two sets of people. People that listen to me and then the people who don't. The people who listen to me have gargantuan events and the other ones have small events and whatever because they think that they know better than me even though I do 50 million of these a day all the time and that's all I do is talk about it. So here's what we're going to talk about, marketing. All right, today marketing is dead. Absolutely, positively, 100% marketing is dead. When I'm talking about the kind of marketing is this. Um, billboards. Name one billboard you saw on the way to work today or home or wherever. Name one. Well, if you think of one, you probably remember it from about two weeks ago that you caught going down the road and whatever whatever the reason was, you didn't um, you didn't remember it. People don't read billboards. They just don't. It's gone today. Second thing is <clears throat> print ads, newspapers, magazines, stuff like that. People aren't even reading magazines anymore. Newspapers are going out. In fact, the one big newspaper in New Orleans just went under. People don't read the newspaper anymore. Magazines, people, magazine subscriptions are diving. Everybody's on Facebook. Everybody's on Instagram. They read Yahoo. They read Google, whatever. It's all online. That's where it is. That's the only place you need to market is on Facebook. Let me say that again. Facebook, Facebook, Facebook. All right. Now, <laughs> let's talk about marketing. I want to give a shout out to Bob Lynch of BV Creative. Bob Lynch, he is the man. I'm telling you here and now, that guy knows his stuff and he does fantastic work. If you, in fact, if you've noticed, we've put out flyers recently for the um, 2016 Blues Brothers Bash for the Prince George's County Police Department. We've got the um, Veterans Ball coming down in like Stafford, Virginia, and that's for home. Um, and we've got the uh, Super Bash that is for Ravens Roost number four. And we're getting ready to do one called Sports Night, and that's going to be for Rush Soccer out of um, uh, Delaware. <clears throat> Pardon me for coughing, but it is what it is. So, first off, you got to grab people's attention. You just can't have some normal flyer with some print and some little pictures you took off of Google and stuck around here. It's not going to get it. You got to understand something. Your digital image, okay, taking, taking a flyer, you now you've gone into like stores little convenience stores and there's flyers posted up people aren't reading them it's a waste of time and it's a waste of your money buying print buying uh colored ink to print them it's just a waste of time people aren't reading it so what do you do with flyers because everybody's so caught in the 1990s 1980s 1970s way of marketing people don't respond to it and if you watch all of my other videos you'll see there's 104 million cherries all that stuff <coughs> long story short Here's how to market. You get that flyer and it's in a digital image. You put that flyer on Facebook. Did you hear what I just said? Write that down. George said, put the flyer on Facebook in a digital image. Now it's gotta be really, really, really cool. It's gotta be very high profile. It's gotta grab people's attention. You take that flyer and you post it on Facebook. Now, if you don't know how to tag, learn. Tag the world, tag all your friends, your entire friends list. It doesn't matter, just tag it. If people get mad, all they gotta do is hit the untag, remove tag, and it'll remove it. No biggie. So tag the world. Now, over a week or so after you post pictures of your cat or some cat playing ball, whatever, 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 and you're taking pictures of what you're eating for dinner, for God, I don't understand why people do all this. <clears throat> that po that post will that that image will start to go down your wall, right? Share it back to yourself. So share it back up to the top. Keep doing that sharing it let it go down share it okay because it's a scientific fact that people need to see something 
seven times, seven times before they even react to it. So you got to share it, share it, share it, tag, 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 tag. Now, it's all on Facebook. Believe me when I tell you. I wouldn't steer you wrong. That's how I built my company. <clears throat> Facebook's the bomb. Now, if you have a fan page, you have to understand something. Facebook is doing trickle marketing. Basically, 2% of the people on your fan page will actually see what you post because they want you to buy a, um, an advertisement. Don't. don't. If you want to boost your post, that's fine, whatever. But regardless, they're not going to see it. So, how do you, how do you maximize your Facebook imagery? Okay, this goes back to your Facebook advertisement. First thing you need to do is you need to build a committee. You got to start out with a committee. Now, I'm going to talk about a power committee. Um, several months ago, I worked with Angie Dickey and Phil Dickey from the Austin Smash event. Two of the greatest people I've ever had the, the, the chance to work with. Hi, Angie and Phil. <clears throat> Phil himself sold 34 tables of 10. Phil is the man. Hear me? Hear what I said? Phil Dickey is the man. Now, <clears throat> you build a committee. You get as many people as you can to help. Your family, your friends, your husbands, your wives, your girlfriends, boyfriends, your neighbors, people you work with, cousins, whoever. Gather. Get people in to help. Everybody sells a table of 10. Now, if I came to you and I said, hey, I want you to sell 500 tickets, you would go, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, what am I going to do? I, I can't sell 500 tickets. But what you do is you get 50 people to buy, buy a table of 10. That's it. Find one person, buy a table. I just got off the phone with Lieutenant Krause from the Prince George's County Police Department um, for the 2016 Blues Brothers Bash. And she said, we just just put the stuff out. Just put out the marketing thing <clears throat> that Bob Lynch from BB Creative did for the Blues Brothers Bash. And this event is going to be the bomb. It's going to be huge. Already she's got 25 tables sold. Two days. George knows his stuff. So... Long and short of it, gather a committee, tell everybody to sell a table of 10. Phil Dickey, let's go back to good old Phil. Phil sold like 34 tables of 10 to his event. There were 640 people at their event. So that's what you do. You build a committee, you do all your Facebook, you put everybody on Facebook, put your brand, your really cool poster up there, not just some regular goofy little freaking throw together whatever thing. It's gotta be really cool and laid out. Invest to a graphic, with a graphic designer. We can do it if you if we're helping you believe me we part of our services is that we do these flyers for all our clients and if you want to do it yourself it's going to cost you a lot of money so it's part of part and parcel of what we do now cool flyer facebook right <clears throat> build a committee tag 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 the flyer everybody from your committee also tag tag tags the flyer share 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 seven times constantly share it up Tag it, tag all your friends. Let everybody see it. That's what you do. Marketing is dead. Don't hang your flyers up. People aren't going to look at them. You're just wasting your time and your money and your effort taping them, and they're not going to see it. <clears throat> Plus, if you tag people, if you tag me, and you're in California, when you tag me, and I'm in Maryland, or right now I'm in Reno, I'll see it in Maryland, and all my friends will see it. So everybody sees it. Just tag the world. If people again, if they don't want to see it, they don't want to be tagged. They'll do remove tag. That's how you build your commit. That's how you build your event. It's all about the hype, 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 hype. We'll talk about hype in another video. So that's it today from Reno, Nevada. Me with my cold, sniffles, and coughing, and everything, everything else. You know me. I'm George from BW Limited Charity Fundraising, North America's charity fundraising one-stop shop in a convenient setting. The number one, the leading charity fundraising firm in North America. <laughs> if you've got a charity event coming up and you love our help, please give me a call at 410-658-8808, 410-658-8808. Check out our website, www.bwunlimited.com, or email me, george at bwunlimited.com, george at bwunlimited.com. Hey, I really appreciate you, and I appreciate you taking the time out of your busy day just to watch this video. I hope this helps you understand how to market and how to sell your tickets to your event and how to sell it out. I look forward to talking to you, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.